Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com. Here doing a video, a video I didn't really expect to do, but got a lot of requests for it from people to do a review of the Google Now widget that has just come out. I did write an article earlier talking about how it kind of leaked on their website, but here it is. So Google search, I will link to where you can get to this, uh, a shortcut to this application here. Mine is fully updated, but uh, you can go ahead and you will see in your app tour, go to widgets, you'll see a Google Now widget. It does say four by four right there. So when you put it on your home screen, you will notice that uh, it is completely taking up one entire screen. However, depending on what launcher you're using, I'm using the stock TouchWiz launcher. When you pick it up and drop it back down, you can actually resize it, which is what I was curious about in my article, I actually. I uh, was like, I wonder if they're going to make it resizable and whatnot, and you'll see, you can completely resize it to, I don't know, it looks like that's about it. So it doesn't let you bring it in uh, this way, but uh, up in vertically, you can, you can adjust it. Anyways, let's go ahead and expand that once more and take a quick look at what is included. Of course, it it essentially condenses all of your Google Now cards into one slot. So we can take a closer look at this. You'll see a couple teams, Bulls and Blackhawks that I'm following. Unfortunately, both of them lost, so uh, not a very good past couple of days. But you also get some stock information. I'm letting you know what, apparently it's letting me know what Netflix was at. Actually, that was a, a stock project that I did a couple of years ago, my freshman year actually on Netflix. So on it looks like it saved my searches for Netflix stock, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then it lets me know the weather. So uh, it kind of gives you just pic pictures of what the weather is going to be like for uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what happens if I tap on one of them. Looks like if I tap on a specific one, it jumps me straight into the weather uh, application, which is kind of what you would want it to do. Let's say I wanted to take a look at the, the Bulls score, the Blackhawks score. I'm going to want to tap on that specific one and have it jump straight to that. So again, if I wanted to go ahead and jump straight to the Blackhawks score, it should jump, scroll right down to that specific card. So that's great that uh, that is kind of how it goes. I don't, it looks like you're kind of out of luck when it comes to search functions though, search functionality. Granted, when you tap on one, you can always just go ahead and scroll back up to the top and then go ahead and and do a search, uh, but I would think it'd be kind of neat with maybe a little search button in one of the corners or something, just to kind of uh, bring things up. I don't know, just so you can, j just instead of having this entire bar up here that I do, uh, just kind of have a quick search button. Also, another quick update that's kind of neat is when you go into uh, do a voice search, and you play music. Um, I actually didn't want to do that. I don't. I go back. And anyways, when I play some music while the voice search is looking for whatever commands, let's go ahead and try this out. You'll see a little music icon down here. Okay, that's enough of that. It says I couldn't find a match, which is probably because it's a, a custom song made by my good friend Moog the Artist. Be sure to check him out. He's got some good songs, so definitely check it out. But that's uh, just a quick demonstration of that little neat little feature. So What's nice about that update is that you can still do voice commands while music is playing in the background. So if I wanted to test that out real quick, I could. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? There you go. So you'll see it uh, kind of blocked out any of that music, that background noise, and just took into account what I was uh, speaking to it. So there you have it. That's just about all I wanted to show off. Just again, a little uh, neat new widget that is included courtesy of Google. Be sure to check it out, update it if you are running Jelly Bean there. Um, so that's about it. You'll also see that uh, if I do condense it down that the weather does not show tomorrow's weather uh, forecast. It only shows the today's weather. So uh, just to give you an idea if you want to save up some space and condense things. But that's just about it. I figured I'd do a quick review of the Google Now widget. Let me know what you think if you're planning on using it. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.